All right, we are going to take our um, <clears throat> the things that we've learned so far with logs and show you a, I don't know if this is a shortcut, but it's a fun, it's not hard, it's a fun way of using logs to find an answer, using logs and anti-logs to find an answer, okay? And um, it just gives us some experience with some of the concepts of logs and anti-logs that you actually will use if you go on to college and take like engineering or some upper science you will have to use logs but uh, the procedures that we're going to talk about today are not exactly like they have in the pace here because we are using our calculator but we can use log and anti-log as we have learned how to use them on our calculator and get the same answers. All right, so I'm going to take the examples that are here on page 22, and I want you to follow with me. We're going to use our calculator to uh, use the log rules and show you how to find the answer, and then it should match what they have here on page 22, okay? And then they only give you three problems on page 23. Don't stop though, turn the page. Page 24, they have one, two, three more problems, all right? So here we go, let me grab my calculator. Is it clear? So first thing we're gonna do, <clears throat> so this is, this is one of the rules of, um, of solving logs, is we can take an equation like this that says x is this, and we can say, well, then let's find the log of everything. So I can say the log of x equals, now I have to put log here, put log here, put the log here, okay? Now, do you remember, I'm gonna put in parentheses, three, nine, eight, zero, the log of that, but then because these two things are being multiplied, it means I would add, the log of 0 0.00425. And then because I'm dividing by this, I'm going to subtract the log of 4,790. All right, so let's come up with all three of these logs and we'll write them in here. So do this with me. Let's make sure we're doing it correctly here. So I hit log first, 3980, and that gives me 3.59988, which I guess is going to be 3.6. Okay. Now we'll do log 0 0.00425 equals negative. 2.37, round it off to a 2, and then from that I'm going to subtract log 4790 equals 3.680. Alright, so let's go back to the beginning and just do the real simple addition subtraction. 3.6 minus 2.372 minus 3.68 equals negative 2.452. Now look, this is the log of x. The log of x equals negative 2.452. So remember in the last lesson, right before the checkup, to find x, we have to have 10 raised to that power. So now we'll clear it and do second function log and plug in the negative 2.452 equals 0 so x equals 0 0.00353. All right, now if you look at the, uh, let me just verify here, if we look here, aha, that's what they got, 0 0.00353, okay? They used the 1960s method, and uh, we used our calculator, used the same rules for logarithms though, so this, 
plus this, subtract the log of this. Once you get that, you do the anti-log, so 10 raised to that exponent, and boom, we have that answer. All right, let's try this one up here. This one has a, a different rule. We covered it a little bit a few days ago. Let's see if you remember. So I'm gonna write log of x equals the log of 2.870 to the fifth power. Now because we have an exponent, that means I'm gonna bring the log, bring the five out front, and now I'm gonna multiply that times the log of 2.870. All right, so we can take our calculator, and do the log of 2.870, and I get point. four, five, seven, nine, okay? I'm gonna take that times five, and I get 2.2895. Now remember that is the log of x equals that. So to actually find x, which is what we're solving for, we have to do 10 raised to that exponent, or do the second function log, the anti-log, of 2.2895. Let's see, what did they get? Um, they have 195. So, and actually that wavy line, I just did one, I guess we should do two. The wavy lines means approximately. So they were approximately correct. We actually got a closer answer by using our calculator. All right, let's do one more. This one has the radical and an index of five. Interesting, so let's do log of x equals the log of, so now what I'm gonna do is write this as 58.4, but I'm gonna raise it to the 1 -fifth power because this index of five means I can write that as a fraction, 1 -fifth. <coughs> Excuse me, so now to solve it, I'll bring the 1 -fifth to the front times the log of 58.4. All right, follow with me. Do the calculator, log of 58.4, hit equals. So you should have 1.7664, okay? And we're doing one fifth times that. So the easiest way to do that is just divide that answer by five, and we get 0 0.3533. Two eight zero point three five three two eight, and now we'll use that as our exponent. So second function log of point three five three two eight. Enter two point two five five six nine. All right, so I'll just write down 2.256. Took it out to four places. Let's see what they got. Um, they have approximately 2.26. Yay! We did one better. All right, we could have taken it further with our calculator. So I'm not going to go through that last example. If you want to, try it on your calculator without my guidance. See if you get the same answer that they have for the last example problem. And then do those problems on the bottom of page 23. And then there's a few more on the next page that are of the same type, top of page 24. And then we'll come back at another date. I need to go do some things this afternoon, but I'll come back and we'll talk about the bottom of page 24 and uh, continue. All right. Have fun.